Hey guys, uh, this is Alex from Paintball 101 Info, and uh, today I'm going to do a show on Milsim markers and uh, Woods Ball. So here I have my brothers, uh, Tipman Alpha Black D Grip, because the only uh, Woods Ball marker I own is a 98 Custom, and that's not real Milsimmy. So I'm borrowing his uh, his gun here. So this is the Alpha Black. This is one of the more common uh, Milsim guns out there. And for those of you who do not know, Milsim stands for uh, Military Simulation Markers. And they are generally using Woods Ball or uh, kind of like uh, Milsim Scenario type, type games. Um, common things you'll see on Milsim Markers are tactical barrels. Uh, this one's actually a barrel shroud, an M16 barrel shroud. But my brother shot his camel wrap over it. Uh, you'll also most likely see clips. Um, this one actually holds tools, but there's none in it because they are illegal at our field. So, in here, just got a spot for your tools. Uh, it comes with lube that comes in here that you can put in there to store. Uh, it can hold three Allen keys. So, common thing you'll see um, magazines. Uh, the most common thing on a Milsim gun, though, is the stock. Uh, in this point, or in this case, it's a six-point collapsible car stock. Um, again, M16 style. Stocks vary uh, from normal collapsible stocks like this to folding stocks, which fold sideways onto the gun. Uh, there's also gas-through stocks, which go. I have an airport here for uh, kind of like an, a, a remote line or some cases a very small CO2 tank or HPA tank and the gas travels up through the stock into the bolt back in here instead of up to the bottom line and up. So just a different way to route the uh, air. Uh, gas through stocks are nice so you don't have a, a remote coil coming out of the ESA. You actually have it coming out of stock so you, need, you have a little bit more room here instead of having a big giant dangly thing going here from under your arm. This one's got a sling on it. Um, it's a modern sling, it's not an actual sling, it's a uh, duffel bag carrying strap thing. Um, the clips widened up a little to fit, so that's kind of nice. Um, I guess we'll give a short little review on this gun. Uh, this is the uh, Alpha Black E Grip, so it's got three modes of fire. It's not the nicest because you have to have an Allen key um, to turn it on through the grip hole right here. You can't mod the trigger on these, so you can't do a double trigger, which is what I don't like. Um, it's pretty heavy, but for a Milsim gun, uh, that's normal. Very durable, this is all metal. Uh, it's got the Cyclone kit on it, so you get a Cyclone hopper, which uh, leads to uh, higher achievable rates of fire. Um, so, take that off. See, Cyclone. The Alpha Black comes with a Cyclone port, right above the safety. Um, which is a very common thing you'll see on Milsim guns that you don't have on speedball guns is safeties. Uh, it works by taking uh, gas from the blowback, pushing it into the piston, uh, which turns the uh, actuator rod, which turns the uh, uh, spindles inside, putting the paint into the feed neck. Um, it's an okay starter gun for 150. I'd save it up and get the SLG, but um, whatever. So let's go over Milsim guns. Uh, there's a wide variety of Milsim guns, uh, Tipman and Tiberius being the number one producer. Um, there's also, you know, uh, upgrades you can get for the 98 Custom, like there's the uh, M16 kit, which will basically kind of look like this. Um, it'll have a rail, your foregrip, and your stock, uh, as well as a magazine adapter. Uh, there's also AK-47 kits, um, you get you a stock, AK-47 uh, barrel shroud, and your uh, AK-47 mag. Um, so there's a wide variety of customization items that you have on the uh, Milsim markers that you don't have on uh, speedball markers, uh, such as stocks, wide variety of stocks. You can put rails on it. This marker um, in specific has an integrated uh, rail on it. You see it's all part of the body. Uh, you can put sights on them, you know, red dot sights, uh, thermal sights, I've seen them. Um, they're even more modded thermal sights, but they're rare, but they are out there. Um, you know, ACOG sights, there's tons of different sights you can put on there. 
Um, my feeling about sights particularly is they do not help in paintball because a paintball is a round object which is uh, generally not that aerodynamic like a bullet would be. Um, and uh, they tend to fly every which direction based on velocity, uh, amount of air pressure left in the tank or CO2 left in the tank, um, how you're holding it, the uh, size of paintball you're using which is barrel. Um, I did a whole show on it earlier, uh, how to get better accuracy. But the sights do help to give you a general location where that paintball is going to be. Um, it'll obviously not fly straight to it. You might have to adjust five or six inches up, down, left, right, uh, whatever. But it will give you a general location. Overall, I don't think sights are worth the money. But, of course, for looks and a general location, it might help. You can get four grips for uh, Nilsson markers. Uh, if you don't like holding on to your marker by the uh, magazine, you can hold on to it by the uh, foregrip. Uh, this marker is not that good for it because it's a very long marker. If I collapse the stock, it's a little bit more comfortable. But I don't like my elbow being so tight, especially um, when I'm holding a Milson. I like it being like an actual gun, how it's on a 90 degree angle. And then, of course, I play some woods ball time to time. And... Uh, when I want to play rec ball and my brother wants to use my gun, I'll take this out and it makes me just feel tactical. You know, I'm not a big woods ball fan, but, um, but when I do use this, it is pretty fun to uh, shoot little amount of paint. You know, I'll last three games on this cyclone, uh, whereas I'd probably last one on it with a speedball gun. Just one ball and it's pretty nice. Uh, some other things you can upgrade on the uh, woods ball guns are obviously triggers, kind of performance upgrades like bolts. You got your mags. You can get like uh, MP40 mags. I don't know if you get the X7. Titan X7 is a huge, widely upgradable marker um, in the Milsim area. It's also electronic. Uh, the Phenom hits the jaw dial, so it's a little bit easier. Um, but Milsim guns are widely, widely upgradable. A lot of people like them because they're cheaper. Um, very simple design. Air goes up in and out. A sear tripper, very cheap, easy, easy to maintain. Uh, this one is just a couple of screws, but it's a pain in the butt because the way they have the solenoid at the bottom, it always takes the ASA screws out. Um, can't stand putting this thing back together. I don't even tech these things if they have e-grip. I say, you know what? I'll tell you what to do. Just pop this off, lube up all this stuff, put it back on. It's your fault now. Um, it's just so hard to put these together with a solenoid because the solenoid on this is a magnetic solenoid so it will take the metal uh, ASA uh, square nut and take it right out of place uh, dislodging it so it won't close right and all that bull crap but overall they are very durable guns that's one of the things you will get when you buy a Milsim marker it's going to be one of the most durable guns out there um, can't explain enough. This is all metal body right here. My SLG composite. Um, composite has some flex into it where if this has no flex, it's not going to break on you. Um, you see, it's dirty from the mud. Uh, that's not going to affect any performance issues. This particular model has the quick out. Uh, well, he has it in too tight, but you push down the uh, lever there and that hopper flies off sideways. So it's kind of nice. Um, but I like Milsim markers if I'm going to be playing a scenario game uh, like the Global Conquest Team USA. I took my Titman out because uh, I knew we were going to be traveling through swamps and I just did not want that SLG to get through the swamp water. And I was right. We had about a 150 yard army crawl through about two feet deep of mud and then about a hundred yard sprint through water that everybody ended up tripping on this log that was underneath uh, to get away from the tanks. But Milsim guns, great for uh, woods ball, great for um, scenario games especially. Uh, one thing that's bad about them is they're heavy, uh, so definitely duffel bag strap, mod it up, you know, just widen up the clip on one end. This stock's got a little area that you can put it in. Nice for carrying, uh, but only bad thing, carries it upside down. So we're reaching the 10 minute mark, I'm just going to wrap up.
Uh, wood vault guns, widely upgradable, uh, anywhere from performance, like bolt, bolt, bolts, boards, um, to cosmetic, like uh, rails, sights, barrel shrouds, mags, um, uh, stocks, having a dumb moment there. Uh, then you can also have a little bit more performance, like the Cyclone, the Titman, uh, the BT Rip Clip. Um, would be the BT's edition of that. Um, common paintball manufacturers that are woods ball would be uh, BT, Pittman, Tiberius, uh, I think First Strike, I think does some, uh, EBO uh, in, in Indian Creek, uh, I know Smart Parts has the SP1, uh, great woods ball marker, and you have the uh, What's the new one? The Inspire BFG, that's another one. So there's a lot of woods ball manufacturers out there. Um, cost friendly, very cost friendly, nice thing about it. Um, woods ball definitely good uh, for starter. I'd like speed ball though. Put about 14, any questions, uh, ask them. Otherwise, please subscribe, please subscribe. If we get to 100 subscribers before the end of the month, I'll eat a pot of paint.